First, we'll be talking about the company's introduction. Simon Property Groups is the name of the company. The ticker symbol is SPG. It is a REIT, Real Estate Investment Trust. Now, what is a REIT? A REIT is a company that owns and in most cases operates income producing real estate. I got this screenshot from the 2019 annual report on their website. This says that they, owe, they have ownership of about 204 income producing properties in USA, which consists of malls, premium outlets, mills, lifestyle centers, and other retail properties in 37 states and Puerto Rico. Internationally, they have ownership in 29 premium outlets, primarily located in Asia, Europe, and Canada. They own equity stake of 22.2% in Paris-based real estate company, which owns shopping centers located in 15 countries in Europe. The majority of the income is from retail, dining, and entertainment. Before going ahead on any research on the company, I like to research which are the best companies out there which has advantage over the other companies in the same industry. From 2019 fourth quarter fact sheet, they have a good credit rating. So what is a credit rating? A credit rating as, is an estimate of the ability of organization to fulfill their financial commitments based on previous dealings. They have a highest investment credit ratings in the REIT industry, which is AA2, and which is given by Standard & Poor and Moody's. According to market cap, SPG stands fifth in the top 100 REIT industries. Now, what is the market cap? Market cap is nothing but total cost of acquiring the whole corporation. They have a total market cap of $44.4 billion, and they come in the top five companies in the REIT industry according to the Jan 2020 rankings. This company is 27 years old and was started in 1993. In total, they have about 325 properties, about 241 square feet miles of gross leasable income. Going forward, we can see that they own some of the top malls in USA, according to the CNBC reports. The first image shows the Florida Mall which is owned by Simon Property Groups, which is worth $4.1 billion. The second is in New York, which is $3.2 billion. The third is in Nevada, which is $2.79 billion. And the fourth is in Pennsylvania, which is $2.77 billion. These are four of the top 10 malls in USA. Lots of malls in the prime locations, which are located in the entire world, and which are owned by this company. This company has one of the strongest balance sheets out there in the retail industry. Now let's talk about the management. Who manages this company? His name is David Simon. He is the chairman, president, and CEO of SPG. Mr. Simon is the CEO and director of the company since 1995. He was named as the chairman of board of directors of SPG in 2007. He also serves as a chairman of a Paris-based real estate company, Clipper. In 2010 and 2013, the Harvard Business Review and Barron's Magazine recognized Mr. Simon as one of the world's best performing CEOs in the world. As you can see from the article that he is on the fifth number of top 100 rankings, rankings according to Harvard Business Review staff. Also under his direction, Simon Property Groups was added in S&P 100 in 2012. Now let's get into the balance sheet of the company. Earnings per share rating. EPS rating is measured between 1 to 99 with 1 being the lowest and 99 being the highest. SPG has the EPS rating of 52. As you can see from the screenshot on the right, an increasing EPS is always considered a good science by the investors. From trading economics, I got this chart and it shows that from 2005 to 2019, the EPS rating is constant. The earnings per share is constantly increasing, which is a good sign. Price to earning ratio. The PE ratio is one of the most basic ways to try and figure out if a stock is generally cheap or expensive. 
a good PE ratio combined with great growth numbers indicate how good is the stock. This is one of the article from street.com. According to Warren Buffett and Benjamin Graham, PE ratio of the stock should be less than 10, which is underpriced. If it is equal to 15, it is fairly priced. If it is greater than 20, then it is overpriced. So from Yahoo Finance, I caught the screenshot and it says that the PE ratio is 9.30, which is a good buy. According to me, it is going to double or triple in recent coming years. The peg ratio. Peg ratio means price to earning to growth ratio. The peg ratio enhances the PE ratio by adding an expected earnings growth into the calculation. The peg ratio is considered to be an indicator of a stock indicator of a stock's true value. According to Zach's research, the peg ratio of SPG is 2.26. According to well-known investor Peter Lynch, a lower peg may indicate that a stock is undervalued. Conventional wisdom says that peg ratio of one or less is considered good. A value greater than one in general is not as good. But this is not just the only ratio that we have to consider. We need to get into lots of ratios to decide whether the company is strong enough to be bought or not. Now leverage ratio. Debt to EBITDA ratio is the comparison of financial borrowings and earnings before taxes and depreciation. Higher leverage ratios means that company is heavily leveraged and it might face difficulties in paying off its debts. But the higher leverage ratio is common for the REIT industry. They have to borrow the money from the banks to finance their operations. According to gurufocus.com, the leverage ratio of SPG is ranked higher than 63 of the 602 companies in the REIT industry. Presently, it is 5.32. This is also one of the ratio that we need to consider, but it is not the only one ratio that we need to consider. We need to see to the all different aspects of the ratios and of the companies of the balance sheet of the dividend, the lots of thing to get into before deciding whether to buy a company or not. Net operating income. Now, as an example, let's say that there's a guy who is working for some company and he gets paid a gross salary. That gross salary is known as revenue. After deducting all the taxes and all other expenses, what is left is known as net operating income. As you can see from the chart, from 2006 to 2019, the net operating income is consistently increasing. It is greater than $2 billion now. So this is a good sign. Return on equity, ROE, means how much profit a company generates with each dollar shareholder has invested. According to macro trends, it is constant, constantly increasing from 2006 to 2019. It is more than 2. Point, it is nearly 2.5 billion now. Now return on assets ROA. ROA gives investor an idea as how efficient a company's management is at using its assets to generate income. Similarly, from 2006 to 2019, it has been constantly growing and right now it's it's going to touch 2 billion. It touched 2.5 billion before and now it is touching 2 billion. But this is going to increase anyways. According to Guru Focus, SPG is again at the top in comparison with the other REIT industries. Return on investment, ROI measures the gain or loss generated on an investment related to the amount of money invested. As you can see from the chart from macro trends, it is constantly increasing and presently it is touching 2 billion. Dividends. Dividend means the company pays its shareholders some money out of its profits or reserves just for holding their shares. 
SPG has been paying dividend consistently since 1996 and it has been consistently growing its dividend. As of April 2020, the current dividend payout per share for SPG is 8.40 annually with a dividend yield of 16.31%. This means that if you hold one share of SPG, you'll be getting $8.40 annually on one share. This is one of the major indication that this is a stable company. As you can see from the chart below, it is paying dividend from 1996 to 2020. And right now, because of the price drop, the dividend yield has grown tremendously. From the fourth quarter of 2019 fact sheet from company's website, we, we can see that it is consistently growing the dividend per share compound annual growth of 10%, which is a good sign. According to the latest news, nine directors, including CEO David Simon, bought about $20 million of shares of SPG. Previously, Mr. Simon made a purchase in September 2004, and he bought about 50,000 shares at $53.70, spending about $2.68 million. Now he bought about $9.1 million of SPG at 60.83 average on March 17th. This increases his holdings by 19%. This is a good sign that insiders are buying the stock. This means that they think that this is the bottom and from here it will be going up. Now let's talk about the recent news. According to the recent news, Simon is doubling down on Taubman and Forever 21. Taubman Center were considered the rivals of Simon Property Groups and they bought them for 3.6 billion deal. Both of these bets in the time of coronavirus shows that they have a strong balance sheet and they can survive this coronavirus thing. Now you must be thinking why is the stock price so, so much low? It went to 15, now it is 63. So it was this news. Simon Property Group closes all of its malls due to coronavirus. Even if they are taking losses, the company has made the responsible decisions. This shows that they have a strong balance sheet and they can survive this virus and go ahead a long way. Now let's calculate the intrinsic value of the company. Now what this website does is this takes the free cash flow of the history of the same company and it estimates a growth rate at what the company is growing. Then according to the free cash flow, it determines the future free cash flows and it determines how much will it be making in the future. So I'm going to show you how we, we can use this tool on the internet. It is free and you can, and anyone can use it. Here you have to put the ticker symbol. We will be putting SPG and press find. Now there's another tab that opens. You have to go to the free cash flow. You have to select the cash flow from 2010 to 2019. You have to copy it. You have to go back to Buffett Books. You have to post it here. Use this average FCF. Here you go. This is the average cash flow. Now you have to click Estimate Average Growth Rate. Now again, we have to put SPG find so here we'll be using the 2010 net income copy it we'll be posting it here 2010 is the year then we'll be going to 2019 
net income copy this paste this 2019 so this is the average growth of the company that it is going growing <clears throat> use this average growth rate what do you consider short term most common it is 10 years so 10 years continue what discount rate would you like to use just keep it the same 10 percent how many shares are outstanding now this we have to we have to see it in yahoo finance or somewhere i'll just put it on google stg outstanding shares you can go here So let's go down 131 2020. This is 3086.86 million. So here we go here, we paste it here, continue. So the intrinsic value per share it's saying that it's 255.39. They think that the company should be 255.39 dollars. 10% annual discount rate. Now we'll be putting the price at which the company is running right now, which is SPG 63.33. So let's put it here 63.33. Calculate. So the discounted rate. So this company may yield a 24% annual return to you. So this is how I calculate what is the best value per share or the intrinsic value of any share. Now you can see according to my Robin Hood account, I hold about 48 shares of SPG at an average cost of 53.42. I am up about 23.51 percentage. So I like this company and I have already invested in this company. Now it depends on you. Do you have to buy it or not? I don't know. You have to do your own research, but According to me, this is the perfect company and this is the perfect time to buy this company and hold it forever. I'm just showing you my strategy. You can do your own research. This is my research. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting one share research every week. Please stay tuned. Thanks for watching.